like get my life? Can I just please get air conditioning in my house? Like, I swear to goodness, they have been here three times to fix my air conditioning since I moved in, and I am still freaking hot, and I have all this hair, and I'm still hot. So I get sweaty or dewy throughout this video. Forgive me. I mean, I worked hard. I was trying to get all pretty for you guys today, and I'm just sweat up a storm, so. Thank God for summer dresses. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my April favorites video, which I am super excited about because I have a lot of fun goodies to share with you guys. Um, one of my April favorites is my apartment. Like I have been so busy decorating with Angel and Hazy. So I mean, granted, they did most of the decorating and I just kind of like go along and say, yes, no, yes, no. But they have done an amazing job. And I think I actually am going to do like an apartment tour. <sighs> Is, is one a lot of people already know where I live not that like I need to put it more out there two I'm really proud of my apartment and three my apartment's pretty secure like I'm pretty much in like Fort Knox at this point and with all like I added extra security so I feel like you know I don't know I might not I could go back and forth maybe I'll just show like parts and not and definitely don't show my view like, you know what I mean like I don't know Plus, it's like a big, big old building. Like, I feel like no one would ever be able to find me anyways. Anyways, I don't even know what I'm talking about. We are doing April favorites. We are not talking about craziness that has been happening in the life of Trish this April because I've been having a mental breakdown. But I've also been buying really cute things, so it's hot. Oh, my God. Why is it so hot? Oh, my God. Like, mm. wait, hold on. Okay, I just, like, opened up a window at this point because, like, the air is obviously not working. Like, I try to, like, keep the air in. It's just, it's just not working. It's literally, it's literally 82 degrees in here. Like, I'm literally dying. So let's get through this April favorites without me literally, literally dying. The actual term of literally. I use literally when I mean figuratively, but I like to say it better and people hate when I say literally, literally. Literally, let's go. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with beauty products. I have like so many drinks here next to, not drink, well, yeah, some drinks, but like liquid beverages because I'm like just trying to cool down. Anyways, sorry, I know. You guys are probably like all comfortable in your nice cool apartments. I just can't relate to that. Sorry, hashtag unrelatable. Um, so I'm gonna go through my beauty products first. Um, I have been very, very basic when it comes to my beauty. Am I in focus? One sec. Okay, I think I'm in focus. I've been very basic when it comes to my beauty. I got rid of probably 85% of my makeup collection when I moved from my house to the place I live now. And it's for the better. It's so simple now. I don't get overwhelmed. You know, it's all new, fresh stuff on my face. It's not stuff from literally years. Literally, I got stuff. Sorry. Um, years ago. So I got some new beauty favorites, but I have been loving this month. Um, actually, I got this a while ago. This one actually might have been in a haul. I had this at my old uh, place. I think I hauled it. The YSL Top Secrets All-in-One BB, BB Cream Skin Tone Perfector. It has sunscreen, uh, SPF 25, and it's in the medium tone. Now, I like if you want to go like glam, I want to like say this is like a glam. I feel like this definitely just does it say it says skin tone perfector. So that's basically what it is. Like if you have uneven skin tone, which pretty much everybody has. Like I don't have like drastic uneven skin tone, but well, like kind of. <laughs> now that I'm getting older, I do. But I think it does just kind of like even out your skin. So it just kind of looks like you have no makeup, but you have a even skin tone face. You know what I mean? I never knew what they meant by even skin tone like in the past, but. You know, sometimes you're like red, or sometimes your eyes are a little more like sunk in it. Like it just kind of like makes everything look just like natural without looking natural. This is definitely a natural thing. It's what I've been wearing. Like if you guys watch my second channel, youtube.com slash Trisha's Live. Plug. <laughs> um, I have, I do my, I literally do my makeup now. Oh my god, I need to stop saying literally I'll stay on myself. Um, I do my makeup, you know, pretty much every day. I mean, not every day, but like if I'm just like literally. Stop saying that. If I'm just sitting in my home, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna like, you know, if I'm just gonna be here all day, all night, like, I mean, that's like, I mean, I guess it's not pointless, but I just wanna do it. But you know, when I go out in public now, I'm like, you know, I try and do my own makeup and stuff like that. So this is actually what I've been wearing um, on it. So that's why you can still see, you know, a lot of my like freckles and stuff through it, um, because it's not like that full coverage that I normally wear, but I love it. That didn't work for me. I was like, let's try a Gigi toss. Nope, didn't work for me. Um, okay, next beauty favorite, I, you probably will have seen it. I did a blush review, a hundred fifty dollar blush review. I don't know if it's gonna be up by the time you see this. And I use this as the highlight. And I feel like I haven't mentioned it in a video before, other than that. And it's the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlight. You guys, this highlight is so pretty. Okay, I know I always have like highlighters or highlight, <laughs> literal Office Depot highlighters, highlight in my um, favorites. But I love me a good highlight, and I feel like they're all so pretty because they're all so shimmery. I don't think Urban Decay is like the best brand in the whole world. I really don't. But I'm gonna not lie and say that this is pretty close to almost the perfect highlight. That one I used last year I love, but I can't find it for the life of me. I think it might have gotten thrown away like on accident. The one, you guys know, it was like JD Cosmetics or something. It was like something like not like mainstream. And I did love that one, but this one is like a very close comparison. And the only thing is, it's a, it's just, it 
warm. It's a little warmer because the other one was a lot. It was, it was basically white. Like this was like white. This is like skin tone, as you can see. So it's just like a lot warmer and a lot more um, natural without being natural. Which you know, I love me a shiny, not a shiny face, a glowing face. Like especially in the cheekbone area, I think it's gorgeous. So that's what I've been using for highlight. Um, these two lip products are pretty much alive. Uh, your girl has the driest lips. I don't know what it is. My lips. I think sometimes injections too. It kind of dries out your lips. I don't know why it does, anyways. So I have to lather chapstick on all the time, and I love the Marc Jacobs chapstick from um, Sephora. That shit gets expensive, and I literally trash. I go through. Let's stop talking like a freaking idiot. I go through. This is this is my life. This is how I have a breakdown. Like Trish, stop talking. You're a fucking idiot. No, you're not, Trish. You're great. Shut the fuck up. Like that's literally what goes on in my head like every second of the day. Anyways, um, it's amazing. It's great. Love it. But I spend it. I, I I go through a stick of it a month. So I got this as like a dupe, and it's a really good dupe. I know it's like pink and it doesn't look anything like the Marc Jacobs one, but I mean I've used a lot of it, and I've used it all month, and I lather it as much as I did with my Marc Jacobs, and it still has a pretty good lifespan left. So. This is just the CoverGirl OXXO um, SPF 15 lip balm, and it is amazing. If you have dry lips, it's actually really good. It's very like healing. It's not just like temporary healing. I feel like it's like healing, healing. And then I will either wear a lipstick or not. Nah. <laughs> and if I don't, either way, I always wear this. And it's the Beauty Rush by Victoria's Secret Flavor Gloss. They have these at the checkouts. I always think, oh my god, those are so cheap. They probably don't work very good. This makes your lips like plump. This is, doesn't say it's a plumping lip gloss, but oh my gosh, what is it called? Mocktail Hour. I swear my lips look so much bigger. Maybe just the gloss in general makes it look bigger, but since this is so glossy and juicy, it's a little sticky. It's not like the best gloss ever. It is a little sticky, but your lips will look humongous. So if you want big, beautiful lips, whereas I don't have it on my lips today, but normally if I'm wearing like really shiny lips and my lips look humongous, that's what I'm wearing. Okay, let's get a drink. Let's get a drink. Let's cool it down. I'm literally gonna email maintenance after this one. Oh, where is my air conditioning? It's supposed to get cooler now this weekend, but I'm literally swell. <gasps> what is my problem? What is my problem? Why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? Who do I watch to say that? Who do I know that says that all the time? Literally, literally. It's so annoying. This is another one of my favorites, my um, Choose to Shine cup. I got this Pier 1. Ah, oh, Pier 1 has been a favorite because I've lived in Pier 1 this month. Um, but uh, Angel, my friend Angel was like picking out like all these like really cute things from my apartment. And he picks out all these like, you know, candlesticks and lamps, like really boring adult stuff. And I always like go to the little kid section and I love this. The Choose to Shine is just like, it's just like being happy. It's like anything. You can, you literally can choose your own destiny. Like I choose to shine. Like people might say, oh, Trisha, you're not a star. You're not this. You're not that. But in my head, I am because I choose to shine. I'm a fucking bright star, bitch. And I love this. It reminds me of it every day. Like choose to shine. Keep on shining, both inside out and with your highlight. And I love it so much. This is apple juice and champagne. <laughs> mm. I put a little bit of champagne. I have so much champagne left over still from years. <laughs> what is my problem? We bought, um, I think, oh my god, there was probably no exaggeration. We bought a hundred bottles of champagne, cheap champagne, but a hundred bottles of champagne. I've been going through it and trying to, you know, do it. Um, okay, beauty. Let's go into hair and like fragrant saws, and then we'll get into like the crazy cries us off. Okay, um, this these do not go together. Okay, so I have totally talked about this years ago. This might have changed a little bit. I think it was red before. Um, this is just the Tresemme. I'm like, I sprayed it because I was like trying to like get it to like spray for y'all, and I was like, why did I do that? Because it's like all over my rug now. It's a nice rug. Oh, kind of trash. Um, oh, it smells really good though. <laughs> it's like it smells really really good. Um, Tresemme. This is a Thermal Creations Heat Protectant, Heat Tamer, Leave-In Spray. I just got mine off of Amazon. Oh, it doesn't focus that way. I'm like, I'm thinking it's my other camera. Um, yeah, I love it. I used it years ago, and I just like, I need a heat protectant, so I remembered it. But honestly, like, I wasn't using a heat protectant. I'm like, oh, I'm just like lightly going over with a flat iron, but it does make such a difference. And I noticed it, especially up here, it would break off because I normally only like flat iron up here, like in the areas that you see. Like, otherwise, if, because if I get a blot or whatever, I'm like, oh, it's fine in the back. I'll just like flat iron here to make myself like feel better. But honestly, it was like, just like a little bit, nothing crazy, but it's like, you know what, I do, this does actually work, because I remember, like, I use this, oh my god, maybe like, maybe like five years ago, like, I don't know, you guys, you might remember better than me, but I used to have, like, when I was doing my own hair tutorials, like, when the hair one, it was just, like, thick, beautiful hair, it never was, like, flyaways and breakage, and I remember I, like, lived and breathed by this, and I had, like, bottles of it, because I never wanted to run out, so I just remembered it, it was the one I remembered, and I've been using it again, and honestly, it does make such a difference, it really does, like, my hair has not been, um, 
like as fly away. well I mean, because you know it's just I mean I just started using it again like a month or like about a month ago and so it's it's just been better it's just more you know not so crazy I need to get my redstone but not so crazy um okay fragrance I have been loving is this pink sea salt and papaya all over mist from Victoria's Secret again like what like Victoria's Secret it's like who wants to buy a fragrance especially a body mist from basic Victoria's Secret but bitch Papaya. I smell like a pineapple. It smells like you're on vacation. It's not that like tanner smell, that sun smell, which I do like. It's like very beachy smell. It is like you're eating like a fruit salad. <laughs> and so it, it can be a little bit of a childish fragrance. I'm not gonna lie. Like I mentioned, oh, you guys know all of me that Asian provocateur perfume. I mentioned my last one, that femme fatale. I love it. That is an adult sexy fragrance. This is not adult sexy fragrance, but it's just like for the middle of the day, like I'm just gonna go out now and just look. Give me all of that papaya goodness. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is so good. It says limited edition, so go stack up on it. I mean, it's not one of those things where I'm like, oh my god, I need 500 of them. But for what I'm feeling now, and the season, and the season is right, and I am bright, my peanut is tight. <laughs> um, it's just like what I'm feeling this month. Like I'm saying, it's not like, oh my god, I can't live without this fragrance. Well, what fragrance can't you live without besides Asian Provocateur or Femme Fatale? Found the bottle, by the way. Um, but it is a great one because I have the Honolulu Sun from like Bath Body Works. I always buy like the craziest things because I just think I need more body sprays because I'm always losing them. But that one is actually amazing and it's a pretty bottle. And this, Pure One, baby, Pure One is life. Like literally everything in my apartment, literally. <gasps> Everything in my apartment is pretty much pure one, and I love this. This is another one of a Trisha pick because I'm always like such a little kid. I just want like the little things. Like, oh, here, what's in the basket too? Um, this is pink champagne. This is room spray. I wouldn't spray it on you because it kind of. Mm, mm, let me just tell you. Okay, so like you spray it in your room. Oh, I just. Oh, did I? Why am I an idiot today? Mmm. It's not a perfume. It smells like an air freshener, but it's a very like sexy air freshener. It's very like scented. I don't know, maybe because I'm an alcoholic and it smells like champagne to me, or maybe it's just my breath that smells like champagne, but I love this so much. It reminds me of Love Self and Victoria's Secret. It's just a, it's just a more potent for your room. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's probably better. No, it's not, that's a good explanation of it. But I love these room sprays, and I keep them in like my bathroom too, because you know, people want to like cover up their stench. If you ever come over to my house, don't use the, well no, you will be using the bottom one, because that's what all my guests use, but don't use the bottom one, because I make like, well I don't make them, but like maintenance people or anybody who wants to like use it after we've been like sweating, like fixing my air conditioner, I'm like, yeah, use that one, and they always stink it up, it's always so stinky, so I'm like spray this, or I'll go spray it, but yeah. I mean, I have people come clean like once a week, but if you don't get right after that cleaning, just because I've had a lot of maintenance with people lately, I don't even know what I'm talking about, I just know I'm having a hot flash. Um, Okay, let's move on to my sunglasses of the month, which a lot of people have been asking where I got them. I got them from Nasty Gal, but they are the Quay Australia. They're kind of a popular brand. It's like one of those brands that you kind of see everywhere. Um, not too expensive. Um, it says Shea Mitchell. I don't know. These are awesome. These are so 90s. Literally everyone, oh my God. Like now I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it and I'm actually like going insane. Um, anyways, I get so many compliments on these. These are very like 90s, very like, what do I feel like when I have them on? Very like Wendy Peppercorn from The Sandlot, very Cher from Clueless, very Romeo Michelle, very uh, Wish Upon a Star, Katherine Heigl. Like it's just very, like, oh, where's my papaya fragrance? Oh, bitch, y'all, oh, bitch, y'all, oh, bitch. Mm, what? Oh, what? Me? No, I'm too good for you. Like very like 90s, like, I don't know, I love them. And I don't want to get my makeup room because highlight on fleek. Can I get an amen or a thumbs up for highlight? <laughs> um, okay. Also, I've been loving these hats. I got these off Etsy. I wear this all the time. I'm like, Trisha. <laughs> Trashy as fuck. I don't really care. I love, like, graffiti spray print things. This so reminds me of childhood. There was a place in my mall that did t-shirts like this, and I used to, like, get everyone's name on it, like, Michael Jackson, Donny Osmond, Alan Rittman. It was, like, crazy. I was, like, crazy. Um, but I love these hats. Um, I actually got this one for Sean, <laughs> um, but I kind of kept it because I kind of liked the colors more anyways. Plus, you know, whenever I want to represent my Sean Vanderwilt, you know, I got that hat, so whatever. Um, yeah, I like both of these, the black and the white. I think they're both really cute. I thought I would like this one better because it's like girly, but this one is so cool and I always feel so cool. And people give me so many compliments. They have no idea what it says or what it stands for when I like go on public, but they love it. So I kind of just wear it. Whatever, I represent. I represent Sean, I represent Roger Barr, who just got a nomination in some Critics' Choice thing for um, Disaster the Musical, which I even want to see, but I don't want to be that crazy kind of stalker and be like, oh, I'm here, Roger, I'm your fan, even though I fucked you over. Um, <laughs> and uh, Michael, my Anthony Michael Hall in the AT&T commercials, like, I have to represent, you know what I mean? Like, I 
was in love with all like those three guys. Those are the three guys I was in love with. I will represent them till the day I die. I'm a fucking crazy bitch. So I get why they don't want to talk to me, but not that they don't want to talk to me, but they don't <laughs> they necessarily don't need to want to engage with me any further. So I like actually chop their dicks off, which I would never do, but I'm just saying I'm that girl. Crazy girls are good in bed. Sidetrack though, but not the point. Just saying. <laughs> okay, um, I have mentioned this before, and this is like so much makeup on it, like hairspray, because this is what I take all my glam photos with. The reason I'm mentioning it again is because everybody always asks me, like, your photos look so good. Because I always put like hashtag no filter on my fit. Like, anytime I take a picture with this, it's never no filter. I upload this straight to Instagram, it has Wi Fi on it. You don't need filter. It's almost like there's a built-in filter in this camera. I don't know if there's like a certain setting that it was preset to. I don't know what it is. It's just amazing. And everyone I take pictures with with this camera, they're always like, what is that camera? I'm like, look how flawless you look. They're like, what is that? Like, no, what? Like, no, it just like it makes you look flawless without looking like overly brushed or photoshopped or whatever. Um, and it's just the Sony Next 6. They came out with like a new one, but the Sony Next 6 is everything. They're not that expensive as the newer ones, and I love it so much. Shoes of the month I have been loving are these blue wedges. They are the most comfortable thing. I wish I would make them in every single color. I believe I got these from pinupgirlclothing.com. I wore them to see the Beatles. I'm actually going to be wearing them today with my little teal get up. And I love them. They're so comfortable. They make your legs look so lengthy. Like, I'll do like a, oh, maybe I'll do like a full body picture of it or something like that because like the outfit I wore to the Beatles had like pants and it was kind of a boy costume so you couldn't really see. But when you have your bare legs, oh my god, my legs are stumpy and short and they look beautiful and shapely in these. And I love them so much. They're like these little jelly ones. I actually ended up wearing these because I was gonna wear my pink Versace heels with that outfit and I ended up wearing these because it was raining that night and I was just like, well, oh, I don't really care if these get messed up. They're like cheap. But honestly, favorite shoes ever and I love the little ankle strap on and the little bow. Everything about them is so so cute. And then let's wrap it up with some healthy eats, you guys. So I have been, okay, I'm obviously still bingey, right? Whatever, not, not bingey, I, I splurge. I don't really, I don't bingey anymore. I'm very controlled now. I eat little portions, a little bit throughout the day. If I do go out for a meal, I, do, I don't overdo it most of the time. <laughs> um, so I have been like getting healthier options. Um, for instance, meal replacement. I drink a simplet, slim fast if I'm feeling hungry. Maybe not super hungry, but this is mostly like if I'm gonna go out for dinner or I went out for a lunch and then I get hungry later on. I drink this because I like to have one substantial meal a day. And everything else I do like fruit or apples or or these cookies that I'm gonna talk about. Well, I'll just talk about them now. The complete cookie, these double chocolate. They have these in chocolate chip at coffee bean, but the double chocolate and the birthday cake one, which I gave to Joey and um and uh and Shane. Oh my god, why I was I was gonna say something else about Joey because I think these aren't gluten-free and I think he can't have gluten. So I, I don't think these are not gluten-free. I mean I think they have gluten in them, so I think he, maybe he didn't take it maybe Daniel's I don't know it doesn't matter but I gave it to them otherwise I would show you but the birthday cake one's really good the double chocolate my mom hooks me up with these every time I see her because she gets like the box of them oh my god is my eyelash sweating off oh. um but they're really good they're vegan cookies they're protein cookies 16 grams no dairy no soy no eggs non-gmo and vegan so all you vegans it's really good too um and I'll have that too sometimes as a meal replacement so maybe I'll have like a cookie for breakfast which is like the best thing ever um or I'll have like this for breakfast like I try and eat like throughout the day and I'll like get eating apples or like have a peanut butter sandwich like that kind of stuff and then I usually have like one like I said warm hot meal and um it works pretty well for me so I think we got through it guys yeah I mean my eyelash feel like it's coming off because I'm sweating I'm sorry about that I'm actually going to go email right now because I can't do this <laughs> um but I love you guys so much May is coming up and it's my birthday month May 8th oh hey boo May 8th I am so super excited for my birthday month. I'm um, not that I'm doing anything great, and not that I have a boyfriend, but I'm so excited nonetheless because I have really great friends. So I don't, I kind of think I'm just gonna have like a chill little part. I don't know. Anyways, I love my birthday regardless. I've usually just spent it with my mom at Disneyland, and it's always been amazing. So I don't. It's also Mother's Day this year too. It's on a Sunday, so yeah. So if you guys want to get me a birthday present, you know, you could uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video, or you know what? You can even just say happy birthday to me every day until May, because. But I, <laughs> no seriously, thank you guys so much always. Like, you know, I feel like every day is my birthday. I'm very blessed. My life is very blessed because of you guys. Like literally, <gasps> trash. Okay, I'm gonna go hang myself, literally. Literally hang myself. No, um, oh my God, but what if I did? You know how they had those possession stories where like, they say like a ghost like pushed someone over and then they like, hung themselves? Or I saw this thing where it's like, someone was calling me like a blue eyed beast. Like I was like this like, I was like the devil or something, and like I can like blue-eyed people like make people like kill themselves like unintentionally. Oh my god, what if that was like happening? And like someone like pushed me over, and then I actually did, and then oh my god, 
Oh my god, what is in this champagne? I think I've like drugged my own self. Ooh. Anyways. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> it's the heat. It's getting to me. It's getting to me in my big weave. Uh, but I love you guys so much. My hair is 100% all bellowing hair, by the way, because my hair be short AF. My hair is literally like, oh, it's, it's this long. That's my, how, my, how long my hair is. And it's really thin and little. And so, yeah. This is the Bellamy Bellissima and Piccola? Bellissima? Oh no, Magnifica and Bellissima. And we just like layered it to get that, you know, fullness. Oh yeah. Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. As always, over at Moranis' birthday was in April. So happy birthday, Rick Moranis, April 18th, I believe. Yeah, so hi to Rick Moranis. And until next time, here are my classes. My little baby fishies. I think I'm gonna do it this time. Ready, guys? Did it. Bye, guys.